It's one of the projects that the government has funded via Innovate UK in order to understand the market and the technology and the social case for introducing autonomous vehicles. It's trying to plug the gap between what I see as technology, the road network and critically the user. So somewhere in between those, those three points there's an area that we just don't understand in the way that autonomous vehicles will move, move forward. So. so currently in our first set of trials we're looking at what's called handover. That's how the driver takes back control from the vehicle when perhaps you come to the end of a road which is equipped for autonomous driving and also how the, the driver can pass control to the vehicle. So we're looking at how people respond, how much warning they need, what their reaction times are and whether the process could be seen to be safe or not. We brought together a consortium of 10 different organisations, each bringing a different facet to this, this research project. One component is actually putting users in a simulator um, and exposing them to the different uh, ways in which an autonomous vehicle responds in different circumstances and then measuring how they respond. And the second component of the trial is actually using a real vehicle. The claims around autonomous vehicles are, are quite broad. Everything from improving road safety through to enabling some people who are currently excluded from using cars because they don't have driving licences uh, or on health grounds in enabling those people to have uh, greater mobility in a vehicle if it eventually doesn't need a driver at all. At the end of the three years, I really do hope, and I, I believe it will, this research will make a significant contribution to our understanding of where autonomous vehicles need to go. For me, the critical thing is this is putting the user first and foremost in that discussion. Yes, technology is important, yes, the road network is important, but this is about understanding how the user interacts, how the user will respond to you know, really quite a complex piece of kit. So if we have moved that forward, uh, even a small amount, this research will have made a major contribution. Mm -hmm.